Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. This week, Deb Tucker's Studio 180 Design introduced a new tool called the Wedge Star. The Wedge Star is used in creating kaleidoscope blocks. For my tutorial this week, I'm going to share with you how to draft two different kaleidoscope blocks in Electric Quilt and then use them in a quilt layout. If you purchase the tool from Studio 180 Design, you are definitely going to want to recreate these blocks in Electric Quilt so you can play with coloration. I've opened Electric Quilt and will select New Project and I'm going to label this uh, Kaleidoscope Wedge Star and select OK. And I'm going to start by designing two kaleidoscope blocks. So I'm going to select Design a Block from Scratch and I will do a new block, pieced, poly draw block. And I'm just going to change the block width and height to be square. And under the grid properties, I'm going to select kaleidoscope. I'm going to change my dimensions to two by two. This will give you the midpoint for each of the lines in each of the wedges. Now with the polyline tool, I'm going to start with a basic kaleidoscope double click on a node to start your first patch. The starting point node is highlighted in green until you finish the patch. I'll go over to the next node, do a single click, down to the center for a single click, and back to that big green square to double click to finish. Now with the pick tool, I'm going to select clone followed by rotate once, and that's going to give me the adjoining patch. Now I'm going to use the polyline tool and repeat the process to do the upper corner. Then with the pick tool, I'm going to select the control or the command plus the A key, which is going to select everything. And now I'm going to do a clone followed by two rotates. And that's going to give me the next section, another clone, two rotates, put it in position and clone, two rotates and that will be the final placement. Now under color, I'm going to add some new fabrics and so I'm going to select open library. So I'm going to go to my EQ stash online, go to the 2019 download, and I'm going to select the art gallery match made collection, do a select all and add to sketchbook and close. The new fabrics are now at the end, and with my paintbrush, I can color this. And I'm going to add this to the project sketchbook. Now we're going to do a variation on that. So I'm going to do a new block, do a pieced poly draw. Everything else can be the same, but I'm going to start with a diamond in the wedge. So double click to start and then single click for the next uh, three points and double click to finish. And then I'm going to do um, a triangle. So double click to start, single, single, double click to finish. And I can clone that one and put that in the other side of the diamond. Now I'm going to do a controller command plus the A key to select it all, clone, single, rotate, and then with the polyline tool, I'll draw the corner. Double click to start, two singles and a double click to finish. Control or Command plus A to select it all. Clone two rotates now. Clone two rotates and clone two rotates. Now I'm going to go ahead and color this with the same fabrics. And I'm going to add this to the project sketchbook. Now go to the quilt work table and select a new quilt and I'm going to do the style on point. Under the layout, I'm not going to make any changes at all. Um, I can change this later, but it's set at 9 inches, number of blocks 3 by 3. For the borders, I'm going to go ahead and change the long horizontal to 2 inches. Now in the design tab, I'm going to select the second kaleidoscope block and with the control key, I will select the first large on point square. Then I will take that same block 
with the control key and select the alternate square. Now I like this um, design but I thought it needed another fabric and so I'm going to uh, go to the fabric tools and I'm going to select one of the blacks and with the paintbrush and the control or command key I'm going to click on each of the diamonds in the alternate square and now I can use that paintbrush and I can do the border and I thought this was a great design so I'm going to add this to the project sketchbook but now I want to make a modification to it and so I'm going to uh, go back to block tools do a set block and take the first kaleidoscope with the control or command key and select one of the main block squares and this would be you know very fun to piece and so I can add that to the project sketchbook for my third quilt I decided to introduce one additional color and so with the fabric tools I found the blue from the collection and with the paintbrush I decided to highlight the curve that appears when working with uh, kaleidoscope blocks and then what if I carry that out to the corners as well and now I will add this to the project sketchbook now there are a ton of different coloring options and so once you have this basic design done feel free to select additional fabrics, different fabrics, and create your own original design. Thanks for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com. And while you're there, check out my other online electric quilt class offerings.